Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how I cartoonize a person or an animal. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with a YouTube thumbnail. And I'm going to apply a background. Uh, I'll use a gradient. And I'm going to look for a like comic uh, pow. Maybe I'll use this one. Okay, and I'll put that there. And I'm going to change the color of those lines to a bright green. Now you can change, you can use any color combination that you like, obviously. Um, now, uh, before we move on, I'm just going to let you know that I'm using the old editor today. Um, so how do you know whether you're using the old editor or not? All right, so I'm just looking for um, a person now. And uh, here is the person I had used in my first um, image. Now to find out whether you're using the old editor or not, simply select the image and go to edit image. And if you see this message up top where it says a powerful new way to edit photos is here, check it out, then you know that you're using the old editor. Um, if I click on this, it's going to take me to the new editor. And when you're in the new editor, when you click on the photo and click at ed edit photo and you come down here, um, you know that you're using the new editor because it'll say you're using the new photo editor. To use the old experience, click here. So again, for this tutorial, I am using the old editor. So if you're in the new editor, click here to go back to the old editor and go to the old editor, okay? This will not work with the new editor, unfortunately. All right, so I'm back and I am in the old editor. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to edit the image and I'm going to remove the background. And I'm going to make a copy of this because um, we can then see the before and after. Um, so let me just remove the background from this image as well. Okay, so here we go. And I'm putting this man on the side right in the corner because um, it just makes sense to have him in the corner. Um, now, if you can't see the full screen on your canva workspace you can also always toggle the percentage so that you can adjust um, your elements okay and if you want to add like a, a circle behind the gentleman um, you can do that too you can bring in a circle to put behind him but we're just going to adjust his image right now to make him look cartoonized so I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to look for Prisma. Okay, so here's Prisma and um, I used the wind effect. Uh, so Prisma wind. So I'm just going to select that effect. Now you can try out any of these effects and see which one you know you like best, but um, I do like the wind effect. Um, so we notice here that it's out of the background again. So I'm just gonna go, um, I'm just gonna say apply and I'm gonna go back to the image. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to save before I do anything. Always wait for it to save. 
Uh, I'm going to click Edit Image again. And I'm going to remove the background. All right, so here uh, he is right here. Um, and it looks, you know, it does look like we're getting there. We're just going to apply a few more effects uh, on him. Um, so what I did next was, again, I uh, went into Edit Image and I went to Shadows and I did, um, I selected the glow. And um, you'll notice here that um, you can go in and adjust. So I'm just going to click on the controls and come in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, decrease the blur and I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to um, make it more opaque. So I'm going to bring it up to 100%. Um, and you can, you know, make the size um, as big or as small as you want. It's totally up to you. Um, but I'll leave it like that for now. And I'm going to select Apply. And saving is paused. Wait for it to save before you move on. Now we're not done yet, so hang tight. I'm just going to select Apply again. And we see that it's saved now, so I'm going to grab the image again. And I'm going to go back into Shadows and I'm going to apply another shadow. Okay, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to click the uh, con controls again. And now I'm going to change the color to white. And again, I am going to do the same thing uh, that I did previously. I'm going to make it opaque. And I'm going to decrease the blur. And I'm just going to increase the size. Okay, now don't go just yet. There's more. Okay, so I'm going to click Apply. And again, I'm waiting for it to save. Um, I just want to say that if you're finding any part of this video helpful, please do press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm just going to move um, my image down in the corner again. And um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my image I'm going to edit my image. I'm going to come to saturation and I'm going to increase the saturation slightly. Now you can, it's up to you to, to toggle, you know, to your preference, uh, how much saturation you want or how little saturation you want. I'm also going to click in here to see all and I'm going to go to clarity and I'm going to increase the clarity. Okay, and again, you can um, toggle this as far as you'd like. You can increase, decrease, uh, do whatever you like. All right, so here you have the two images side by side. Again, I hope you, you liked this video and found it helpful. Uh, until next time, my friends, bye-bye.